Brandon, you were talking about some trends that you saw throughout the year in the industry just for, you know, M&A was a big one. Why don't you share a little bit on yeah, that? Yeah, you know, I was looking back a couple of days ago and just thinking about the year um, first, you know, land men. And, and in the beginning of the year, we we're like, where are they? You know, they they really made a resurgence on coming back into the industry. It's still not quite where it was uh, pre-COVID, but you've seen a real good trend of landmen, good landmen coming back to work. Uh, and we've been happy to be able to get them and get them working and keep them working. Um, on the MMA, M&A side, I mean, you've seen a trend of very, you know, I wouldn't say very light activity, but light activity in the beginning of the year. And it's really, I mean, through June, June was kind of the, the big month. Uh, I believe there were, oh, I think it was something like, 16 billion dollars or something just in june and and, and us MA activity and then uh, if you look at the year over year it was around 42 percent uh from you know october to october of the past year to, and then up from october to october the previous you know and um that just shows you a good trend of activity and and people um looking forward um they're making those acquisitions because they think they're going to be profitable in the future so um that's a good trend to look at and i, and I kind of keep an eye on them and a a uh, little bit the a and d side uh just to kind of get our trends for for going forward so um it, it looks good right now yeah it's kind of with respect to that any of the a and d the, the transaction market it's there's always a separation right and there was a separation of what buyers were willing to pay and what sellers thought their asset was worth. We kind of hit a little happy spot there mid year where deals started happening. Um, and, uh, and so that was good. And, and we're kind of, gosh, it was the last 18 months have been really heavy for us on the, on the diligence side of things. And we're still seeing some of that go through the end of the year. What will it do next year? I don't know. Um, you know, people's hedges start rolling off. The economics change for a lot of people, uh, particularly in the gas space next year. Um, so if we can keep a, a healthy, healthy gas price, although that's, 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 uh, changing as of today with, with oil and gas prices dropping, but I think everybody feels relatively confident in the long-term stability of, of the pricing environment. So, uh, we're hoping that that, that leads to just steady consistent work for, for people and, and steady and consistent operations and, and investment in the, in the industry. 